What about the NBA? Let's talk about the NBA for a second. The NBA came out with news, I believe, as of May 15th. Let me go ahead and double check that date. I think May 15th. Uh, they're going to start looking at basically modifying uh, some of the pay that these NBA players are getting. And here's the thing. The NBA players in the league should have been preparing for like the past month, right, with the past couple checks. And like their checks are way bigger than the, than the average check of a person. Like, I don't know. Have you, it's it's kind of it's kind of cool. You know what I mean? And it's something that you know, a lot of people obviously will will uh, idolize. And you know, maybe that's good, maybe that's bad. But like a professional athlete's check is kind of interesting to think about and, and visualize, right? Because they get paid, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars like per check. And so if you save like two checks as a professional NBA player, or even if you save like half of them, you, sh you should be able to like skate through for like at least, I don't know, a couple months, I would imagine. Like, even if you were being a little bit excessive, which I don't really understand how you would be spending money excessively right now, because where are you spending it? So, I don't know. I feel like the NBA players that are going to have this happen, I feel like they're going to be okay in the long run. But you knew it was going to happen. We talked about it last podcast. I said, shout out to the NBA. Nobody's talking about it right now, but the NBA is paying their players normal. And nobody was talking about it. And now, I, I and I said it on the podcast last week. I said it. I, I literally said, guys, if the NBA stopped playing their pay players, if the, if the NBA modified how much they were paying, people would immediately be up in arms. And as soon as they mention it, as soon as, and the thing is, you can look at it on ESPN right now, and the headline is, let me read you the headline on this on this story right now. NBA to begin withholding player pay May 15th. That's all the headline says. Then when you click on it, it says NBA players to receive 25% less in paychecks starting May 15th. Cue that gif of uh, Stephen A. Smith. We've been hoodwinked. We've been bamboozled. We've had the, <laughs> I mean, seriously. I mean, I clicked that headline thinking, oh, man, dude, I can't believe that the NBA went all out with this. Like, I actually, even with all my comments that I mentioned last week about giving kudos to the NBA for paying players, I was even like, oh, my gosh, they're not going to play a big thing? Like, like, whoa, dude, like, that's, that's intense. They're just saying, okay, we're not paying you at all right now. We're done. Like, I thought that's what it meant. And then you got to click on the story and you got to read through this story to, to get the scoop. And it's written by an awesome NBA insider, Adrian Wojnarowski. Awesome guy. Awesome guy. He comes out with everything. But I was just like, come on, man. That. You don't have to do that. You don't have to. You don't have to leave out half the truth in the headline. I mean. Is that half the truth or is that 75% of the truth? <laughs> you know you know what I mean? Because they, they, they're, they're receiving 25% less. So is that, you know, I, I'm just saying, man. I don't know. I don't know. NBA, for the record, is going to uh, withhold 25% of the checks starting May 15th. So it's not even like they're taking away all the money. It's literally they're withholding 25%. Now, is that a lot of money? Absolutely. 25% of $100,000, quite a bit, 25 grand, pretty solid. <laughs> so, you know, I, it's a lot of money, but they have to do what they have to do. And here's the coolest thing that I, when you read the story, it kind of makes it, kind of makes it sound better. The story begins with the NBA and the National Basketball Players Association have agreed to a plan. So it's not like it was one-sided. It wasn't like, yeah, we're not paying you guys. Deal with it. This was a reasonable, hey, this is what we're doing. We want to work together with you guys. We want to still take care of you because, like, we don't ever want you guys to leave. Like, I think that's the thing that everybody's missing about, like, safety and all this right now. Like, you guys realize 
realize, hold on for a second. Restaurants have incentive, businesses have incentive to take care of their customers in every way possible right now because they want their money. They want their business. They want that relationship to stand strong through this time period. Like that's what businesses think. When stuff goes bad, they think, how can we keep, how, how can we keep our customers? How can we keep engaged with them while everything is going bad? So that way, as things go on, right? Because most things usually do go on. The world usually does keep spinning, right? The world keeps going. And when that happens, people remember, hey, they were still there. They're still okay. They still operated. They still they they helped us through. They 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 survived. That's what that's what it's about. Why is the NBA paying these people, these players, seventy five percent of their salary out of the, out of a hundred? even though they're not playing a game, because it's about relationships. That's, that's, that's what it comes down to. The NBA wants to maintain relationships, maintain, you know, wants to take care of their employees, the people that make the company. And in order to do that, that means paying them. You know, companies like restaurants want customers to come back to their business. So, I want to take every safety precaution that I can to protect my customer from getting sick so they can come back. I want to make them feel safe so they can come back. That's what it is. That's what it is. It is worth noting the NBA players will receive their full paychecks on May 1st, according to Adrian Wojnarowski. So, hey, I just I, I find it hard to believe that a lot of these NBA players will not be able to get through this. And here's another thing, man. Don't take professional advice from me. I'm on YouTube. I host a podcast. I own an LLC, but that's not professional advice. It's not. Go hire somebody. If you're an NBA player and you don't have an agent or somebody that deals with your money in some capacity, you know, I don't know what to say about that. I hope that these athletes are doing what they should because I think that by now, in the 2020s, I think that's happening. I think most athletes are being smart about the way they do that. And if they're not, holler at me, man. Shoot. <laughs> holler at me. I, you know, I'll talk to you about some Dave Ramsey, some some uh, some investing, some uh, wealth management. You know, I got you. All right. Once again, not a, not a professional. <laughs> but um, it, it's, it's one of those things that we definitely talk about in personal finance. It's one of the coolest things that I that I've been able to teach uh, the past seven seven years. You know, I've been able to talk about personal finances and building wealth and things of that nature. So, I can definitely see both perspectives. The players want to get paid because look, man. The, hey, one thing nobody's talking about. You realize the players are aging. The players are aging as this goes on. Like, what if, what if I had two more years left to play, and now I have one more year. What if you're Vince Carter, right? This is your last season. You've already came out and said that. You've kind of like operated that way up until like uh, now. This this is, is is unbelievable amount of ripple effects all over the world in every industry. And man, this is uh, it's, it's it's gonna be crazy to watch. You know, so I'm glad that the NBA is taking care of their players, and I, and I just wish that the headline would read instead of. Uh, NBA to begin with holding player pay May 15th. I wish the headline would say, you know, NBA and NBA Players Association negotiate deal for salary.